مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم in this lesson we will be learning the system of plural in arabic we have already learned the singular and the dual for the nouns adjectives as well as demonstrative pronouns now in arabic a uh, plural starts from three not from two as is the case in english and there are essentially two types of plural in arabic one is called the sound plural al jamu al sahi aw al jamu al salim that is sound plural and the sound plural has two branches one is masculine the sound masculine plural and the other one is the sound feminine plural let's deal with the sound masculine plural first now it's called jamu al mudhakkar salim jamu al mudhakkar salim for instance you take word singular muslimun a muslim you convert that to the uh, plural which is the uh, masculine sound masculine plural or regular plural if you like the ending will be una in the uh, nominative so you leave all the letters order in the singular as they are and the end you just reduce this un single u and extend it with wow lengthening wow and they add na muslimuna so when you see uh, ending una ending you will know that it is sound masculine plural or later on as you will learn when we have uh, plural in the accusative or a uh, genitive position which is your nasb or jar it becomes ending is ina rather than u it becomes kasra extended using the ya and na the same na muslimina so that's the case ending for uh, the sound masculine plural or jamu al mudhakkar salim now have a look at page uh, 39 for me page on page 39 of our book get with arabic number two so you will see what i have just explained now there is a vocabulary for you here we have mu'minun let's read that mu'minun a believer muslimun a muslim so what the ending will be mu'minun becomes mu'minuna muslimun muslimuna mu'adhinun mu'azzin mu'adhinuna jazzarun butcher jazzaruna khabazun baker khabazuna baqalun grocer baqaluna so are the plurals khayyatun a tailor the tailors becomes khayyatuna teacher a teacher muallimun that's a male teacher plural will be muallimuna all this una ending can also comes as ina ending uh, the column in the middle the column falahun farmer falahuna farmers tabahun a cook or chef tabahuna halaqun baba halaquna wa halaqina tayyarun a pilot tayyaruna or tayyarina malahun sailor malahuna malahina mudhi'un uh, radio or tv presenter that's a, a, a man mudhi'una shurtiyun policeman shurtiyuna sawaqun a driver sawaquna hard working have some adjectives here also can be uh, made to be ending 
na kijamo mudhakar salim mujtahidun hard working man mujtahiduna careless a careless man boy muhmilun muhmiluna muhmilina righteous man salihun salihuna truthful person male sadiqun sadiquna deceitful person male kadhibun kadhibuna famous male mashhurun mashhuruna unknown or obscure majhulun majhuluna busy man uh, mashghulun mashghuluna all this una ending when it is in the uh, accusative or genitive can end in ina as well that is page 39 read out for you now let's go to page 40 on page 40 you will see the plural again exercise 31 so we're going to do this together now verbally what needs to be done is you have a noun an adjective for instance the first one's done for you mu'minun salihun a pious believer becomes mu'minuna that's now plural sound masculine plural and adjectives also behave the same way salihuna mu'minuna salihuna or mu'minina salihina so what is required is uh, exercise 31 is to remember your vocabulary and convert the singular to a uh, plural sound masculine such as a famous presenter a presenter male is mudion famous is mashhurun so it becomes mudiruna mashhuruna or mudiina mashhurina next one a careless barber uh, a barber is halaqun so become halaquna muhmiluna halaqina muhmilina a hard working teacher teacher is muallimun hard working person is mujtahidun so muallimun mujtahidun becomes muallimuna mujtahiduna muallimina mujtahidina next a deceitful grocer baqalun say baqalun kadhibun becomes baqaluna kadhibuna baqalina kadhibina a truthful policeman shurtiyun sadiqun shurtiyuna sadiquna shurtiyina sadiqina uh, unknown sailor uh, you have uh, unknown is majhulun and you have malahun malahun majhulun malahuna majhuluna and malahina majhulina butcher busy butcher is jazarun busy is mashhulun jazarun mashhulun jazaruna mashhuluna jazarina mashhulina last one a truthful Muslim Muslimun Sodikun Muslimuna Sodikuna Muslimina Sodikina That is exercise 31 uh, done uh, for you. So what you need to do is go and do it in writing for me. Exercise 31 on page 40. Now let's deal with the jama muannath salim the sound feminine plural still on page 40. now the ending for jama muannath salim is atun or atin let's use example of muslimatun muslimatun that is a Muslim, a female. 
Muslim. Muslimatun. We know how to say two. That's be Muslimatani or Muslimataini. But plural is a regular one. Muslimatun. Let's write. So it will be Mus. Musli ma tun. Now you can see we are adding a tun ending, and that's of course indefinite. When is it definite? Will be a tu. The definite one will start with l. We have l. Al mus. Al musli. Ma tu al muslimatu single u because of the l al muslimatu uh, indefinitely muslimatun al muslimatu that is nominative when it is in accusative or genitive position i keep saying we will learn about that later so no panic is allowed don't panic so that will be Muslimatin or El Muslimati. Again, let's write that. So be Mus Li Ma Tin or Al Muslimati. Mus Li uh, Ma T when it is defined. So the regular or the sound feminine plural ending is either a ton or a tu or a tin or a t. Now that that those are the two branches of al jamu sahi or al jamu salim. Uh, the sound plural. You have the sound masculine plural, una ending or ina ending, and the sound feminine plural, atun ending, atu or atin or ati ending. Now let's deal with the uh, broken plural or irregular plural, and it's called in Arabic jamu taksir or al jamu al mukassar. It's called broken plural for this reason the singular arrangement has been broken up so I give you an example for instance if you have uh, uh, one of the broken plural and there's a list of them on page 41 let's take one of them such as um, right let's say kitab kitab as an example so we have kitab kitab the plural is kutub. Ku tu bun. You can see now in the singular we have kaf with kesra. Here we have kaf with dhamma. Uh, ta has a fatiha with lengthening alif. In the plural, there's no lengthening and it's a dhamma. So it has been disturbed, the singular. Now, word of advice. There are so many broken plural in Arabic the best way in my opinion is this when you learn a singular word in Arabic it's sensible that at the same time learn its plural and that's why in all my publications more my writing at the end of the book back of the book you have a collection of all the nouns and adjectives in both singular and plural because the duo is easy to deal with it has a set uh, a pattern any ending or any ending as for plural is all over the place so when you learn a word in arabic immediately learn its plural as well so you say kitabun a book look for the plural and it's kutubun uh, qalamun a pen becomes aqlamun and and so on rajulun a man rijalun men boy waladun auladun and so on so 
It is a sensible thing for a learner to do. Learn your singular, at the same time, learn your plural with it. Because there are some rules governing the broken plural, but it is so complicated and it's unnecessary for you to waste time on it at this stage. Okay, so you have on page 41, a light list of all the uh, broken plural in book two collected for you. You see it in singular and plural. And those plural are the uh, broken plural. You see them there. So the next we're going to do now, we go to page 42. At the bottom of that page 42, you see the broken plural of adjectives. Adjectives also in Arabic has plural. And you look at, you look for, when you learn adjective, like a, for instance, jadidun, new, immediately look for the plural. That will be jududun. But as a matter of um, guides, so, um, if you see anything uh, ending with tamarbuto, most of the time you can uh, make it um, the sound feminine plural. For instance, jadidatun, you can make it jadidatun. Tawilatun, uh, Tawilatun, that's feminine. But the plural, uh, masculine of these adjectives, they're all over the place as well. Broken plural. For instance, you say Jadidun, Jududun, Tawilun, Tawalun, and so on. So on page, that's on page 42. So read that and learn uh, your plural, which is listed for you on page 41 and page 42. If you've done that, really, that will be excellent progress for you. We are approaching the end of book two. So please go and revise this book for me from page two all the way through and make sure that you do your exercises. Well done and ahsantum. Uh, Goodbye. Ma'assalama. Ila liqa. Fihi amanillah.